Hey guys! Uh, in today's tutorial, I want to show you guys the new Automatic 11.11 version 1.6 that is finally comes with the control net available for Stable Diffusions XL 1.0. The official control net GitHub page finally released the new version of this extension, and the new control net more though support SDXL in Automatic 11.11. Yes, it have been waiting for a while. So that started with the installation. First, we are going to copy the GitHub link, link provided in the video description below. We are going to open up Automatic 11, 11 1.6 Web UI by clicking webui.bat like usual. As you can see, version 1.6 interface. Now click the extension, paste the GitHub link and click install. Once it is done, we are going to restart the web UI. Now, as you can see in the command prompt, shows the control net versions 1.1 to 400. That is the update latest version of control net. Now, let's go back to web interface. As we mentioned in the previous videos, the new automatic 11.11 do have refiner support, and it also enable SDXL refiner to be used in here. Let's try this one in our example. Check one more time. In the extension list, we confirm the control net installed and enable. Now, as you can see, the control net processor, we have the new SDXL model available in here. The new Canyon depth models are in the list. In our tutorial, we have going to download this two control net model from Hugging Face. Again, link provided in our description below. Now I'm going to fast forward of my download because it's over 2 gigabyte for each model. After you download, you gotta paste in a uh, site the extension control net folder inside the control net folder you have a folder called models now put those model files in here once we are all download then we can testing the new control net for sdxl in automatic 1111 as you can see when we click on the processor the models automatically loaded that's a good sign let's try with a simple prompt and image for control net I'm I'm going to put one girl in prompt, set sampling step 40, GFC scale 9, and once again, make sure the latest version control net here, and we click enable, and got drag and drop my previous created AI image, use pixel perfect, and choosing canny control net type, and, and let's try the preview. Yep, it worked exactly as we expected. No errors. I'm going to use Cottrell is more important to let the generate image exactly follow the reference image. Oh, remember one more thing. Don't forget to set your width and height. We are going to use over 1024 for SDXL for sure. Let's generate. Mm, wait and see. Okay, pretty good. The control net have what we expected. Okay, this time let's try another image for the depth control type. I am going to set the width and height that's relevant with the image. And we preview the depth control net output. Okay, let's generate and see.
By the way, my generation in this video I have not fast forward, it's all natural timing. Okay, the AI give me some kind of comics style in this image. Let's generate again and see what kind of style it give. Okay, finally there are some realistic style looks like the original image. Of course there's no optimization here so the quality is not that good. But we can still see the depth behind the windows. So yeah guys, this is the new automatic 11.11 updates recently. And the control net also updated support stable diffusion XL. Although there's not much control net model available at this moment. Maybe they will update sooner. You guys can go back and check the hugging face link later. See if there's any new models available for a SDXL. Yes. So that is it for this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. See ya.